It is a long flight back to Japan, that is right. All right, so here we go. I'm starting the clock. Start. We will see how long it takes oh from my. one door to the next. How many seconds till we get home? <laughs> We're on our way to our flight to Japan, and we've done as much prep as possible to be able to enter the country, including our negative COVID test. But will it be enough to get back home to Japan with no issues? It's going to take a long time, is that what you said? The second flight is 13 hours. The second flight is 13 hours. The first flight, you know how long that is? Two. Two hours, that's right. So you want to go to Japan in 2021? Not so fast. There's a lot of things you need to have in hand before you can even get on that plane. We had the benefit of hearing from others what the process is like, so now we can share it with you. That's a lot. All right, we're gonna get, we're gonna load. Okay, so to come back to Japan, it's quite the complicated process. So once you get your COVID test, not only do they have to be negative, the place where you get your COVID test has to fill out a form for the Japanese government stating what type of test it was, when it was done, and that it was negative with the signature of the doctor. We have our negative COVID test. I can't wait to play baseball with you again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Mr. Josh. Grandma needs a big hug. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Love ya. You can't kiss us with the I love you. She can't kiss you with the mask. Kiss your mask. Eating breakfast, huh, guys? Saying goodbye is never easy. It's one of the hardest parts about going back to Japan. But we really are looking forward to getting back home to Japan. Hi, dude. See, look, the bags are going in the museum. And you can pop your ears like... That's right, that's how you pop your ears. Bye, Peoria. Then also, you have to fill out a questionnaire for each person in your family and have that QR code ready to show the officials at the airport in Japan. The first leg of the journey may be done, but the trip has only begun. Next will be a transfer in the hub city of Dallas before we board our plane headed for Tokyo. Okay, our tram's here. Before you even get on a plane for Japan, you must have a way to get into the country. In pre-COVID days, an American could just show up in Japan and get a tourist visa. Anna. Get ready to board. Now about the only way a foreigner can get into Japan is if they are a returning resident. And even then, it is strict. Get the whole road to yourself. Get the whole road to yourself? Yeah. You too? Oh, that's so cool. You can tell there are no tourists going to Japan and very limited business travel. Our huge plane had only around 40 people on it. Here we go. Just how strict is Japan, you ask? Well, there are a couple of countries from which you can't even get in. Then there is a long list of places where a returning resident must quarantine in a government hotel for at least three days before finishing their 14-day quarantine at home. Fortunately for us, we're on a short list of places where we should only have to quarantine at home for two weeks before returning to normal life. Yeah, 
that. About an hour before landing, they open up the windows to let light in again. We've been on this flight for 12 hours now, but the new COVID immigration process may take us up to six hours. It includes a second batch of COVID tests and the installation of a couple of apps that will track our position inside Japan. What I did that really helped me was I printed out a piece of paper with all our passport na names and numbers and expiration dates so I don't have to go through all the passports at the airport trying to find it. It's just all one sheet of paper. And if you have all this stuff already beforehand in your hand in a file folder, then when you go to each station, which there's like 30 stations that you have to go to, you can just hand the file and they will look through and pull out what they need and what they want to look at and it really makes things go so much smoother. Oh, so it took us two and a half hours just to get through the tests, oh, installing the apps, the spit test, I did not like it. The app, yeah, no joke, you didn't Maybe like it. Maybe better. Two and a half hours. Now we get to do immigration, which is everything you normally do when you get off an international flight. It took us another hour of walking and immigration before we finally exited the airport and went to our car. Oh my goodness. That is a finely packed car right there, if I do say so myself. We are back in our car. Is there somebody back there? Who's back? Oh, Anna. My it's goodness. so nice. I hear it's so hot. We're back in Japan, which means I'm driving on the other side of the car, not on the other side of the road. So I just, if I just keep following traffic, I should be just fine. <laughs> We've got an hour and a half till we get home. How much time do you think has passed? Mom is going to have a good guess. What do you think? 24 hours. Oh, our bridge. You can practically see to our house. Oh. We made it. We made it. All right, let's see. 23 hours in 43 minutes. Our tree is large and in charge. My goodness. And that's it. We're home. Night, night. Oh, yes. Been a long time since we've seen that view. Some of these trees just absolutely exploded by where we're going. My goodness, it's only five weeks. Here comes that familiar sound. This is day one. So probably. <laughs> Becca, you getting hot chocolate for everyone? Yes, except Joshua and Daddy. Well, that's nice of you. Okay, Mama Chan woke up. We're talking with Grandma already. The kids playing Minecraft. Mm -hmm. By 8 o'clock, I think we were in bed. I mean, we were going to watch something, but I don't even know what happened. I mean, I was out so fast. And then at 10 o'clock, oh, yeah. I was like, Mom, I'm awake. And I looked at the clock, and I was like, oh, no, honey, it's so early. Please try to sleep some more. She's like, if I sleep till 3, then can I get up? And I was like, yeah, sleep till 3, then you can get up. So, here we go. With the unpacking. Ruth 
has begun. Barely, but barely I begun. Here goes our first bag. We only have two weeks to get it done, so. Goodness, how good is it to be back and to be in my own working space? <laughs> our groceries came, look. No, I don't think it's groceries. What is it? Open it. Let's see what it is. It might be my groceries. Might be not. <gasps> <laughs> oh my goodness! Here's our quarantine project. So that was our experience coming back to Japan. What do you think? Next week we're going to show you what quarantine is like and especially with the apps and the calls that you get and this big Mario project that we have coming. So stay tuned. Hey, and I know there's a lot of you that have been watching us that comment but you haven't hit subscribe yet. Do us a big favor and click subscribe. That really helps us keep making these videos. And until next time, we'll see you on Life in Japan. Back in Japan. All right. <laughs>